Hey everyone, <clears throat> Rob Wiseguy82 here. Hope everybody has had an awesome new comic book Wednesday. Hope you got everything you want, because I sure haven't yet. Um, first off, uh, I just want to say that I have uh, officially broken my YouTube contest entry cherry. Thanks to Sleepy Reader 666 Damien. Thanks so much, brother. I uh, really appreciate that video you did. That was really awesome. Yeah, man, I can't thank you enough. That really means a lot. <laughs> um, now, a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that uh, a couple of really cool opportunities uh, crossed my path. One of them was at my LCS. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. The other one what is um, probably about a month away. I'll be able to show you guys that, but the the it, it ended up being three big purchases that uh, is the reason that I haven't been able to pick up my books for a couple of weeks. Uh, so I've got last week and this week's books um, sitting very lonely at the shop. So probably wondering what the hell is going on. But. It's worth it, and I can't wait to get, especially these first two books. That was uh, the East of West uh, Retailer Incentive variant. So that completes my uh, East of West number ones. I have all four of them. And the other one's coming. So <clears throat> anyways, I did get a couple of things. This one, though, uh, I was able to get last week. This one's kind of special. My first one uh, of these I've ever gotten. This is Aether and Empire. Now, I am, uh, I guess I'm, I wasn't supposed to get this. Um, this book is not going to be coming out until April. This is the special preview edition from Blue Juice Comics, which I had not heard of. Um, so last week, this was sitting on the table. And I was talking with my buddy Patrick that works there. Um, so I saw it. I was like, well, what's up with the preview? And I was like, I haven't heard of this Blue Juice. Because uh, he knows that I love the small press books. And uh, so we were flipping through it. And, you know, I, I was like, well, is it, can I get it? It was on the table. And, well, the, the only thing he asked me was if there was a price on the back. And there is. So he was like, yeah, you're good. So <clears throat> a couple days later, I was up there. Uh, and I overheard another customer ask about this book. So the owner, Andy, uh, Patrick's dad, was like, oh, yeah, we got a, we got a preview of it. So let, let me look. I'll, uh, I'll find it. I'll show you. And I was like, and it, of course, I just happened over here. So I said, well, hold on a second now. I was in here the other day, and I, and I told him exactly what happened. So I brought it up there, and uh, he at least wanted to look at it because this is, I guess, only supposed to go to them. So... You know, they can check it out and see if this is something that they might be interested in. <laughs> so, after I did that, he handed it back to me. I thought he was going to, you know, I, was, I would exchange it for another book or something. But no, he handed it right back to me. He said, awesome, man. Thanks for bringing it back up here. So, that was super cool. Uh, so, this is Aether and Empire. It is described uh, as Jules Verne meets Star Trek. It takes place in the 1800s, um, basically with pirates, and there's battles, and flying ships. Uh, it was really, really cool. I really enjoyed the artwork. Um, now, I, I, I doubt you're going to find it at your LCS, because it was a mistake that they put it out. But I went on eBay, uh, and I've, I've since then picked up a couple more copies of it. But you can go on there right now. And there's not a lot of them, but you can get it for under 10 bucks. If you guys are interested, this is something that's going to be coming out in April, so we're a couple months away. But, uh, I mean, this is just a really gorgeous, really detailed cover. I mean, it's beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. I think, you know, and, and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is uh, one of my favorite books, minus, obviously, the classification and phylum that goes on and on like the begotten's in the Bible. Not that I'm comparing 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to the Bible, but in that aspect I am, so 
Very tedious, but other than that, one of my favorite adventure books, Captain Nemo. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so that's this. Uh, so check it out, guys. I really enjoyed this. I don't know of any other pirate books that are going on right now. Um, if you guys know different, let me know. This right here uh, was a free one that my shop gave me. This is their retail preview for uh, Aftershot Comics 2016. I have really enjoyed all the books that have come out so far. They've got uh, some really, really cool ones that are on their way. So, I mean, they just seem to be pumping out this awesome, awesome storytelling artwork. I'm really excited about them, especially there's, uh, you know, you guys have seen some of the really, really limited variants that they have of them. You can get them for 20 bucks. It's awesome. Well, probably like if you go on eBay, I think it's like 23 or 24 shipped. It, it ends up to be like some of them are 19.99. And then some of them are fifteen ninety nine. It just depends on which one you look at it. So this has uh, all the previews coming up for uh, Aftershock in two thousand sixteen. Next one uh, I had to, I wanted to at least try because uh, Nick Spencer. I really like uh, Bedlam is one of my favorites, and then uh, he does Morning Glories, which I haven't, uh, I haven't read, but uh, Joachim Com Comic Center does those really awesome high quality hardcover reviews and he did one for uh morning glories and i'm gonna give it a shot so thanks a lot for that joachim uh but that's what made me want to try this book out and uh you know secret wars had its faults but i really enjoyed that story so i'm really interested to find out what's going on with uh pleasant hill here next one i had to get is uh wraithborn redux i'm gonna say uh, Merc with a Mouth reminded us yesterday on uh, We Love Comics live show. Uh, thanks for that. I at least wanted to grab the first issue or the uh, regular cover. I've got the uh, cover B and then the uh, shoot the uh, sketch cover in my uh, box waiting for me. So that's that. Next couple I had to get uh, because they only had a I think they had like three or four copies each. These are the, uh, now, you know, I don't know if you know, Marvel and DC, they seem to make a lot of mistakes on this, but uh, these are supposed to be the second print black and white variants. This is number one, <clears throat> um, but if anybody's seen We Love Comics video showing you the, uh, the barcode, so this says that this is the second variant, first print, uh, but these... <laughs> I, I really love the the sketch covers because it allows you to see things that you might miss when the color is added into it. But the coolest thing is, guys, and I'm sure you may have seen this, but their bandanas are the only thing that are in color. I think that's awesome. And I love the Dark Knight. doesn't really have any color on them. I thought that was a cool touch. So number one, and then I got number two. Now number two does have... The barcode like it should. 212. The last number is the print. Print run. Or the uh, first print, second print. So, like I said, it may be a mistake. But again, same format. You could see even Michelangelo back there. You could see his bandana in orange. Batman, he doesn't have any color in him. You got Leo. More of a light blue, I think, than what we're used to. But very nice. These are freaking awesome. This is such a cool series. I mean, this is just like, yeah, this is a uh, comic nerd's wet dream, this book right here. That's for damn sure. And it's so freaking good. <laughs> okay, so here we go, guys. This book right here is uh, one of the three reasons that uh, my comics are sitting alone at the shop. Um, this right here, I just wanted to block it because when I pulled the last book down, but, uh, thank you so much again, Damien, uh, I'm definitely going to be trying that Murphy Stout, and then the book that he suggested is Kaiju Max, I believe that I've seen it at the shop, but I don't recall anybody ever talking about it either, so, um, I think I'm going to be checking that out, brother, thank you so much for that recommendation, and, uh, so this book, guys, <clears throat> this is, for the artist, it's definitely like a holy grail for me. It's uh, it's a, it is a major key, I think. Um, 
yeah so registry said just charge him 75 for it so I got it for 75 bucks but here we go guys and it is holy crap it's in such good condition all right check it out oh my god I'm so excited I can't believe I have it and this is the first time that I've ever seen this in the wild here we go oh uh, first Harley Quinn in DC continuity holy crap guys this is the first print Alex Ross cover, my favorite villain, and then, of course, the beautiful Harley Quinn. This, guys, is a really gorgeous copy. You know, I really, I, I'm definitely not going to be reading it. This, you know, one of those books that's not for the story. It's for the cover. It's prestige format. Really gorgeous copy. Really sharp corners. Look at that. Oh. Really sharp corners. There we go. Got a little bit of smidge of a white. But look at that, guys. I mean, everybody knows about that book, I know. But holy crap, Alex Ross just, I mean, he did something special when he painted this right here. Um, so now, of course, what will inevitably happen is I will have to get the, um, I don't know who does it, maybe somebody can help me out with that, but, uh, damn it, I freaking didn't do the 10 minute mark again, shoot, I hate that. Um, maybe somebody could tell me about that statue, I know it's easy to look up the Alex Ross statue, but uh, I think that would be really awesome to display with this. I can't believe I got this, guys, it was the first time I, uh, had seen it in the wild. My shop was nice enough to let me, uh, to put it in my box for a couple of weeks. Um, my comic shop is uh, Comics Etc. here in Rochester, New York. Awesome place. Amazing shop. Uh, Andy is the owner, his son Patrick. Got a buddy Jamie that works there. Uh, he is an artist. And you know what? Let me, hold on a second. I haven't checked if he has, he's probably got a website or something, but uh, he did a local art show here. I uh, wasn't able to make it, I was working at the time, but uh, he uh, he's a painter. And uh, he does like little, little, a lot of little stuff, but uh, this is what I'm reading right now, guys. This is the Green River Killer. This is a uh, black and white true story crime. Really, really interesting. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is some of his work. This is Jamie Lowe's work. This is just a bookmark that he did. Really nice.